In this video, we'll be looking into construction of the PDA using empty stack method. So this is the third example. So the problem statement says that we need to design a PDA for the given language by using empty stack method and trace for the given string. So my first step would be to design the context free grammar for the given language. Here I've written the language again. So W C W it's whatever W should be uh, whatever W I write here. Mirror image of it should be here in the middle. There has to be a C. So W belongs to A. W could be A or B or nothing. Or it, it could be empty string lambda also. That's what star here defines, right? So my first step uh, is to define the CFG. But before that, I'll write the language here. I'll expand the language here. So uh, if there's nothing on W, I, I, I'll get only C. And if I write A here, I should get A here. So A, C, A. If I write AB here, then C would be there in the middle and this side, the mirror image BA should be there. If I write B here, then here also B. And if I write ABBA here, then here I should get ABBA. So that's how it is. Now, now I'll be defining the CFG. So we have already learned designing CFG in the previous videos, right? So I'll directly write S derives C, yes. Uh, and the context free grammar could comprise of A's and B's, any number of A's and B's, right? So A, S, A, because it can recursively be the same or it could, it could be lambda also. Here lambda case is not possible. Here C is possible, right? So it could be C also. Similarly, B, S, B. So my next step would be to convert from CFG to PDAG. So for converting PDAG, I, I should remember the PDAG condition that is, it should be of the form A derives AX or X or A or Lambda. So this is the PDAG condition. So here A should be a terminal followed by any number of non-terminals or just a non-terminal or just a terminal or Lambda. So I'll convert this CFG to PDAG. So S derives so I'll write S derives C, yes, and then A, S, A being a terminal, S being a non-terminal. Now there has to be non-terminals only, but then here I have a terminal again. So in the place of A, I'll write capital A and A derives small a. So this condition, condition would be satisfied. Then I'll write B, S and capital B here. I'll write B derives B. So I have defined the PDA here my PDAG here, my next step would be to write the transition functions for PDAG. So let me write the PD, uh, all the PDA grammars here one by one. So that is S derives C, S derives A, S capital A, S derives B, S capital B, A derives A and B derives B here. And on this side, I'll write transition of P, D, A. So let me write the transition here. So in case of uh, empty stack method, we know that it has to be in the same state. So let's start from the state Q. There won't be any transition to another state. Okay. That's the main point about uh, PDA. Uh, that's the main point about PDA designing uh, using uh, empty stack method. So I, I have S here. So I'll write S top of stack and then the input string here is C, right? So I'll write C here also S and I will consider A here. S, B, A and here I have small a so I'll write it. And here B and I have small b here, I'll write it. This should be equal to, if there's any transition happening, you should mention the state here, but then in case of Yes, and we know that it's in the same state. So I'll write Q as it is. Then uh, check here. After C, do you have anything? No. And let's write lambda here. After A, I've written. After A, SA is remaining. So let's write SA here. Here SB is remaining. Here after A, there's nothing. So let's write lambda here also lambda. So here I have defined the transition functions for the PDAG, PDA. My next step would be to define the PDA that is P is equal to Q sigma tau 
transition function q0 z0 and f where q comprises of the states that is here i have only one state so the start symbol and so the start state and the final state would be the same then i have sigma the alphabets used here are a and b and then the transition function is defined in step 3 then i have tau tau comprises all of all the alphabets which i have used here so that is all the states that is s a and b and z not being the start state it would be s so now i have to trace my next step is to trace for uh, the given string that is w is equal to a b c b a so initially my configuration would be q s w where q is the state uh, s is uh, the z not z not value the starting of the state starting of the transition state pda and then w would be the string for which i need to do the tracing so i'll write q comma s comma here a b c b and a so i write instantaneous description for that so if you have watched my previous videos you know uh, you'll understand what instantaneous description is and what's the output for that so here i'll take q s and a so transition of q s and a i get q comma s a so q in the place of s i get s a in place of a there's nothing here so it could be considered as lambda so i'll write here so the same state q comma s a comma here i have lambda that's nothing so i'll uh, exclude a and i write b c b and a again instantaneous description for that i'll consider q s and b if i consider q s and b i get q in place of s i get s b a is previously there and then here i have c b a this b would be neglected my next step is q s and c if i consider q s and c i get q comma lambda so in place of s i have lambda in place of c also i have lambda so i would get q comma b a and b here would be remaining so i'll consider q b and b if i consider q b and b it's again lambda so i can write q a and a so if i consider q a and a here also i get q lambda and lambda so whenever i get this state uh in empty stack method that refers that means that the given uh, string is accepted my final output uh, i have to finally derive to q and empty string on the top of the list on the top of the stack and in the uh, string which is given so yeah so this is how we solve uh, or design a pda by using empty stack method if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you